Hey everybody, welcome back to the cabin. Uh, I wanted to talk quickly about all this stuff that I'm bringing in into the into the garden and what the potential impact is on the environment. So this rotted wood, it's a log that fell down probably several years ago. Uh, this is yellow birch, or what is it? Yeah, I think it's uh, yellow birch. These logs provide a lot of nutrients to the forest, but also habitat for little creatures. And one of the main things we have here that uh, thrive under these logs, these rotted logs, these little salamanders. There's tons of them here. In fact, it's probably, they say it's the uh, greatest mass of um, invertebrates in our forests are these little salamanders. So I can't um, take this stuff without impacting them and, and damaging their environment, their habitat. So what I try to do or what I do is make sure that from each fallen log I leave at least half of it so that there's still enough remaining habitat for the creatures to live. Um, like I said, it's an extremely rich ecosystem. All this rotted wood, there's so many little organisms in there that uh, help break down that material and turn it into soil so that the forest can have lots of nutrients and, and thrive. So I'm aware that I have an impact and it's up to my, it's my job to minimize the impact as much as possible while uh, providing for my family and trying to provide or improve the uh, overall ecosystem that I'm living in. You know, we as humans have a major impact, of course, on the environment, on the planet and the I think each of us uh, needs to do what we can to minimize that impact, but there's no way of getting around it that we're going to have some impact, some negative impact, generally. Um, I still feel like this kind of ecosystem that I'm living in and that I'm creating here is in harmony with nature as much as possible, and that uh, I'll continue to learn how to do that, and I'll continue to try to evolve my skills and uh, learning how to live with the land instead of against it. Uh, but I'm going to make some mistakes and I'm going to learn a lot over the next hopefully 20, 30, 40 years, see how long I live. But I plan on continuing to uh, live this lifestyle and continue to, to uh, evolve myself and fit further and deeper into the landscape. So interesting. Um, all the little things that I'm doing, I'll try to share them with you as much as possible what I'm learning and what I'm discovering that I have to research to find out more about. Now I've spent a lot of years uh, outside, um, spent the majority of my life as much outdoors as much as possible, uh, but never as intensively as, and as frequently as it is now or as I am spending out here now. So I'm learning way more in the last three years than I have in my lifetime. And stuff like this takes a lifetime to uh, to learn and usually, well not usually, always it means getting information from others, especially the elders that have passed down this information. That's lacking for me. I don't have that mentor. Um, so I've got to learn what I can uh, hands on and then try to reach out to people that know more about things than I do and see what I can learn from them. And of course, from books and websites and, and uh, you know, YouTube videos and stuff like that as well. But as you can guess, I'm sure that I don't have a heck of a lot of time to spend uh, watching videos, watching YouTube. If I did, I wouldn't be getting much done around here. So anyway, uh, I'll continue, as I said, as I discover little things that I think um, are interesting to me or that I've learned, I'll try to pass that along, share that information with you and hopefully learn from you guys as well.